JJ, JJ, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, guys, today we're going to talk about algorithms, whiteboards, you know, the whole interview process of a lot of companies that's out here, man. Especially Google, especially Facebook, especially all these major companies out here, right? And why that system is so fucking flawed. It's like, you know, they came out with the system to basically test people out. And. It's just like, okay, let me see if this person actually knows how to code. Does this person, let's test to see how his brain thinks. And let's see how, you know, how he functions in pressure and this and that. And in reality, man, that shit is so flawed and so old school. And like, to be honest with you guys, it's a waste of time. You know, usually when I, when I hear a company does uh, whiteboards, or they want you to basically get tested on algorithms. I pretty much don't even want to go in there. I'll be honest with you guys. I've gotten, you know, a whole bunch of uh, jobs where they send me, you know, recruiters. And they're like, oh, yeah, man, just, you know, we want you at X and, you know, XYZ company. We want you to come in and, and basically go through the whole process. And I'm like, you know, this is cool. I like it. Let me go show up. You know, but once the whole whiteboard and the whole explaining of algorithms, I seriously, like it's like my brain shuts down. I don't work like that. I don't work in, in, in the sense of like, hey, let me prove my worth in creating this algorithm for you in front of you on a whiteboard. My brain doesn't work like that. And some people's going to be here. Oh, it's because you're not smart. Oh, it's because this and that. No, man. Because I study code. I know how to build things. I don't study fucking rid you know, riddles and, and a whole bunch of shit. It's like, you know, DHH, uh, he said it best. He's like, hey, he's like, hello, my name is David. I will fail to write a bubble sort on a whiteboard. I look code up on the internet all the time. I don't do riddles. And that's just like me, man. Like, I'm constantly, like, whenever I have a, a problem, I look it up online. And basically, I search on Google, search Stack Overflow. Because being a, a programmer is basically being somebody who could uh, find the answer to things. It's not just about, like, hey, let me remember this riddle in my head. So when they give me this test, I could go in and just basically write it down for them. Man, I know so many freaking, you know, Indians who come here and Pakistanis who go to special classes just to learn this shit, just to get hired. And it's like, it's a shitty ass system. It's like, you know, you go to these classes, you pretty much, you pay, you know, I think it's like $5,000 and the guy teaches you all of the fucking ways of like, you know, this algorithms, the way they work, and the ones that they ask you at Google, and the ones that they ask you at Facebook, and the ones that they ask you at whatever fucking company is out there. But in reality, now you're just like using shit for memory. You know what I mean? Now you're just like, okay, I'm gonna remember all all the fucking questions, and when I get there, I'm just gonna say it. Yeah, I'm gonna pass the test, but I don't know shit, and that's what happens a lot of times. I keep hearing stories of people who have gotten hired by Google and then they are let go two, three months later. It's like nobody talks about this. Nobody says like, hey, man, people are fucking gaming the system because the fucking system is fucking broken. You know, it's like if I have the skills to go in and create an amazing software, why the fuck? Do I have to come in and fucking create something on a whiteboard just to prove to you? It's like, hey, man, he's he's part of the group of people who could remember this bullshit. Let's let him in. You know, it's like it's a way of having like fucking, you know, give gatekeepers a certain type of power. Where it's like all the big guys that get hired at those big companies, they don't have to go through none of this shit. But, like, you know, a brand new developer has to go through all this bullshit and be like, man, let's make it as hard as possible for them to get into this job. And it's like, man, a lot of times you hire people who is not even qualified to be there. You know what I mean? 
It's like, look at this guy, fucking Max Howell. He's the one. He's the one that created Homebrew. Whenever you use Homebrew on on a Mac, whenever you use, you know, on your terminal, you go like this. You be like, okay, uh, brew update, right? Whenever you do that, he created that. And like ninety percent of the people on Google and a whole bunch of companies, basically whoever uses a Mac uses Brew. And pretty much he didn't get hired because of it, you know. He went to go over there to Google. And pretty much applied, and it's like, yo, you can't get fucking hired because you can't fucking remember a riddle, which is an algorithm. Algorithms are a fucking waste of time, guys. Like, I'll be honest with you guys. Don't even fucking waste, I mean, I don't know. I would say don't waste your time with it, but then you might just be one of those people who want to fucking remember riddles to feel, you know, like you're smart. Man... That's like going to a spelling bee and be like, man, I remember all the words from the spelling bee. But then when you tell them, like, hey, write, you know, spell this word, they don't fucking know it. You know what I mean? They only know the words that they remember. And it's the same shit as code. Code, you could come in and know every single fucking, you know, algorithm that's out there. Sorting trees and all this extra bullshit. But when... It comes to the code, and they say, hey, can you build this app for us? You're like, uh, I don't know what to do. Like, that's how a lot of times people are. I see that shit all the time at different jobs and different positions, where it's like, guys are, somehow they get hired, and they, they're there for a reason, but it's like, man, they don't know how to fucking uh, solve problems, man. So they, I'm pretty sure they got in just because they did some algorithm. And it's like, man, luckily for me, when I go to a job interview, I have so much work that pretty much I just be like, hey, man, I did this website, did this, 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 and this. I worked at this, 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 this company. And pretty much it's like, I don't have to go through the whole algorithm bullshit. But at the same time, I feel bad for new developers because it's like, there's a way to just, you know, Give somebody power and be like, hey, man, I fucking learned a riddle. Do you know this riddle? And do you, if you want to get in and you want to see the fucking, uh, what is it? Uh, the fucking magic Oz to fucking give you, get you back home and shit, give you superpowers. You got to know this riddle. Like, come on, man. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I wanted to tell you guys about this list right here. You know, if you go on github.com and you search hiring without whiteboards, you're going to find a long list of companies that don't, you know, that they hire, but they don't do fucking whiteboards, man, because whiteboards are a waste of time. It's just remembering riddles. Algorithms is just remembering a fucking riddle. It's nothing. It's not a skill. Stop thinking just because you know an algorithm, you're smart. You're not. All you did was just remember a fucking riddle. It's like the same shit as the Fibonacci fucking sequence. This is something that everybody fucking just remembers. And it's like, this is doesn't mean that you're fucking smart. It just means you're fucking good at remembering fucking bullshit. That's it. You know what I mean? It's a dumb formula. But yeah, man. So, there's a list that has a whole bunch of companies, man. And what's cool, too, that they have a website, Airtable, where you could actually see the cities and you could, you know, actually set it up by cities and be like, okay, let me set this up by the city. Like, let's say San Francisco, let's say New York, you know. All the cities that all the cities that that have companies with you know that are not fucking asking for algorithms and fucking whiteboards, man. Because to be honest with you guys, it's like it's fucking it's a waste of time, man. Like you don't need that shit. If you want to get into like a Google or Facebook, or whatever, yeah, you might need it because. People are just fucking assholes. A lot, a lot of times, people are just assholes, and you know, you might not have gone to the same, you know, Ivy League school that they went to, or whatever 
might be. And they're like, you know what, man? I'm going to make it harder on this person. I want to see. I want to test his, test his brain. I want to fucking pick at his brain and see if he could actually remember this fucking riddle. That's all it really means, man. Algorithms is just something to fucking remember. It doesn't make you smarter. It doesn't teach you anything. It doesn't, I don't believe in the idea of like, oh, you know how to sort something out the most efficient way as saying, hey, you, that makes you smart just because you remember it and you fucking study it. The fucking internet is there. Google is right there. If I wanted to find the best way to sort something, this shit is right there. The idea of like, hey, you got to remember this riddle for you to get hired it's a fucking bullshit idea, and that's it. That's what I think. You know what I mean? So, anyways, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again. Listen, codingface.com is coming up right now, man. Soon, you guys going to be able to fucking register. The first people to register is going to get a stamp that's going to say founder. It means that, you know, once I start making a, a pay service later on, your guys gotta be having a a very good discount automatically just because you guys were one of the original ones. And that's always gonna be there for you guys. You're always gonna have that stamp that says founder. You know what I mean? But yeah. So check it out, codingface.com. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video. Also, if you wanna learn the courses that taught me how to become a web developer, pretty much. Check on my description. It should be there. You should be able to see five courses. Or if not, you could go to codingface.com. You click here on the side. All right. Go to resources. And right here, you will see the courses. I'm also going to put, uh, you know, places where to find cheaper services as you know, hosting, uh, where to buy cheap MacBooks, where to find uh, cheap uh, mouses and f keyboards and, you know, shit that's going to save you money. The whole idea of this area of resources is just pretty much for you guys to find stuff that's cheaper than, you know, than the regular price. But yeah, man, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you check out the courses and subscribe to the kid, man. Your boy's back. Bow.